Hi, this is the Garden State Cat Club Forward Watch Finals. This is Cat Couture presented by Mike Jacoby. I want to thank everybody who entered uh, their cats in the Cat Couture Fun Ring class um, and, and also for participating in the CFA Virtual uh, Cat Show. I hope that at some point in the future, you can find a CFA Cat Show event near where you live and participate. So we're going to start with uh, Mike's 15th best cat. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, female exotic. It's wearing a purple dress, um, um, a little purple dress. It looks like it's designed nicely for her. Um, uh, she just, uh, again, a lot of these cats caught my eye when I was uh, reviewing the, the list of entries before I started judging, and she is one of them, and I just think she uh, fits cat couture pretty well. And your 14th best cat? Okay, this is a mixed a black mixed breed neuter. Uh, he is wearing a multicolor scarf that in some ways reminded me of uh, the fourth doctor from Doctor Who, Tom Baker, and his huge multicolor scarf. And your 13th best. Okay, this is a uh, looks like a red and white mixed breed neuter that uh, dressed up as the Easter bunny in half of an Easter egg with some um, some grass. He's uh, well dressed for the upcoming Easter season. Uh, and again, this fits again the cat couture uh, theme of the show very well. And I just you know, again, he caught my eye, and I thought he was an interest. This was an interesting picture. And your twelfth best. Okay, this is a mixed breed neuter. Um, it just looks like he's. Uh, uh, wearing a uh, nice, re uh, relaxed shirt, and he just looks like he's uh, just sitting there ready to, to have some fun around the house um, and, and relax with his people. And your 11th best. Okay, this is, looks like a brown tabby and white Maine Coon neuter, uh, dressed up as Superman. Um, like many Maine Coons, I think uh, I find that as a retired Maine Coon breeder, I find that a lot of Maine Coon uh, males and neuters think of themselves as Superman. So this kind of fits him and fits the breed. And he looks like he's about ready to, to, to start flying away. And your 10th best. Okay, this is a red uh, and white uh, Persian Spay. Again, who's dressed in, in a nice little dress. Um, that fits her and fits her color. Uh, she just looks like she's, you know, just going to, you know, sit there and be pretty. And your ninth best cat. Okay, this is a mixed breed spay, who looks like she's dressed up as a bit of a ballerina, uh, with the way she's dressed here. And I wonder if she's anything like like that or at home or. And or one or is just ready to start dancing around her home. And your eighth best cat. Okay, this is a Maine Coon Spay um, who's dressed up as Wonder Woman. Like I said, with the Maine Coon males uh, who are think of themselves as Superman, so a lot of Maine Coon females think of themselves as Wonder Woman or something equivalent to that. So she's uh, all dressed up as that and ready to. Uh, uh, try to take over. Um, and she looks like she's uh, going to, again, fit the Wonder Woman theme well and fit the Cat Coach theme. And your seventh best cat. Okay, this is a female black and white sphinx who is dressed in a nice black and white dress. Looks like you know, she's uh, done this before. She has a nice expression on her face and looks like she's ready to... Uh, some ways, uh, dance with with a partner. And your sixth best. Okay, this is a mixed breed spay, who's dressed up as a nurse, um, as a person who's had some health issues in the past. I find that my cats uh, all have tried in their own way to nurse me back to health. So she looks like she's ready to do that for her person. 
And your fifth best. Okay, this is a ragdoll spay. Looks like she has a little bit of an attitude. And again, the, the just the way this picture is with with her her mouth open like that caught my attention when I was scanning the pictures before I started judging. Uh, there's a cat further up in my final that also has uh, an attitude by the way he's looking in the picture. And you know, again, I chose him as for my final as well. And your fourth best. Okay, this is a Sphinx Spay. Um, as Sphinxes uh, are nearly hairless, uh, this picture, especially with what she's wearing, kind of reminded me of a, a cat ready to perform a little burlesque routine. <laughs> so, uh, again, this caught my eye. Uh, and again, it looks like she's probably done some of this before. And your third best. Okay, this is a red and white Maine Coon neuter who's dressed up uh, well for St. Patty's Day. Um, a lepre I think he's going to be the leprechaun because he even has a little bucket next to him for his uh, gold from the end of the rainbow. And your second best. Okay, this is the other cat I was talking about that just looks like uh, she, ha uh, she has an attitude. This is a mixed breed spay who's dressed up Easter, right, to having her Easter basket with Easter eggs next to her. Um, just the way she's looking in that picture looks like she's ready to say, have a happy Easter or else. Um, it's just the attitude, the, the look on her face uh, just pulled me toward choosing this picture and then choosing her cat in a second. And your best in cat couture. Okay, my best in cat couture uh, is a, it looks like a black and white mixed breed neuter that's again dressed up very well for uh, St. Patty's Day, which was a couple of days before the uh, the date that I'm recording this final. Um, and I think he just looks like he's ready to to have some fun on St. Patty's Day. You just you know, see he's ready to ready to enjoy enjoy life with his people. And that concludes your top fifteen. Again, I want to thank everybody for participating and giving me a chance to look over these pictures of your beautiful kitties. Thank you so much.